morning guys, YouTube. Saturday. Finally alive, I think. Just want to do some, I guess, uh, parts that I have coming up. So, first off, I have this bully dog. I'm not sure what you even call these things, but um, all I'm using it for is for the pyrometer. So I ordered a pyrometer uh, for EGTs. So you wire this up to power ground and uh, something else. I don't remember. I'll have to look at the instructions. And this goes to the little control module that goes into the box that goes into the HS tuner so that you can read EGTs. <clears throat> so you got pyrometer 1, 2, AN1, AN2, AN3. Um, and I'll, I don't know what all those are for. Um, I did purchase a step or uh, you guys have to excuse me, I'm I'm still out of it. So this is a uh, power switch foot pedal for the bandsaw. So basically you just plug the bandsaw into there, you plug that into the wall, and then you zip tie the, the switch, uh, the lever, which is what I'll do. I'll just run a zip tie here, plug it in, and then I'll probably wind this up every time, but push it, it'll turn it on. Um, yeah. And uh, I've been ordering some parts <clears throat> while I was out there on this train that was grinding everything. I ordered, a, ordered an exhaust. EGR delete thing, um, a muffler, an air intake horn, and then I was looking for an intake, but anyway, not all of it's here yet. So, what uh, I did receive though, however, is from DB Power or DB Motors. Um, they sent me another product they want me to test out. They sent it to me before I sold my other truck. Actually, they sent it to me as I was selling the other truck. And then I let them know that I bought the new truck. Um, review the product kindly. Share the video, YouTube. Our newly designed tow mirror, dual function light, available in the market. And we would like to send it to you. Appreciate you to share the video. Um, yeah, you can go to this. Uh, DV tow mirror, dual function light. It's selling on eBay. Um, AI Motor Shop, which you can find the product. I'll put a link. Um, I'll put that link right there, unless you guys want to copy it. But I'll put the link in the description of this video and the install video. I was going to purchase some new mirrors because my mirrors are chrome so um, and I don't like chrome so what I ended up doing what I'm going to end up doing is buying some vinyl wrap and I'm going to try to wrap my mirrors before uh, before I install this um, but anyway so it's a lot of detailed instruction as always these people are pretty they're pretty good they're on top of it not saying it because it's free, but uh, but yeah. So I mean, you can even see they got it all the way down to where you tuck all the wiring and all the beware the limited space. I mean, they give you all the everything. Everything is really cool. Module. Um. Yeah, basically everything's everything is written. Everything's where it needs to be. Um, good colored pictures and a lot of good uh, <laughs> instructions. So as you can see, they're just tinted, right hand, left hand, and it comes with all the harness and everything. So basically, what this is going to do 
is this will, when you have your running lights on, those will be on and they'll be used as turn lights. However, I will not be able to get to these until I wrap my mirrors. Because I either want to wrap the mirrors or I want to put new mirrors on the truck. And if I'm going to end up doing new mirrors, I don't want to put these into the old mirrors, if that makes sense. I don't want to do the work twice. So, anyway, there will be a future video for that. So, um, as you can see, you got chrome mirrors, chrome handles. So, and they're pretty, uh, I guess that's a bunch of asphalt all over it. But yeah, so the mirror, that light will go there. It'll be gone. And then I'll probably get in contact with them and try to get some more floodlights because these, the ones that they sent me before for the other truck were really bright. I mean, they lit up. These ones suck. These ones are not good. These are factory, I think. And then I'm going to vinyl wrap the handles. This handle's all loose, but whatever. They work. Um, yeah. And then I don't know if you guys saw where I put that tuner. It's right here. Um, I did end up cutting this down, and it is just a piece of metal, like for a phone. And I have a magnet glued on there. So, it just sits there. It works out. It's good to look down instead of having it up on the A pillar or whatever. So, also, what I received already is my diamond eye. Oh, the paperwork's in there. So my diamond eye axle back, or DPF back. So, there's some, get this out. Oh, Sorry, my, my back is super tight. I shouldn't even be out here, but I have to. So there's a part number for that. Um, it's a K5252A, so it's a DPF back, aluminized exhaust. So it comes with a straight pipe, a coupler. Um, I think this is four to five inch, or an adapter, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, adapter, the straight pipe, which is this one, which is your muffler delete, which is what's in this box is a muffler. Um, <clears throat> you got the over axle and then the exit. So that's the over axle and that's the exit. And then I bought uh, just a five inch straight through and through muffler. It's the only one I could find and it is polished. But whatever, it is what it is. So it's just five inch all the way. Stainless steel, polished stainless steel. Whatever, it's gonna be all ricer. Um, but yeah, so this pipe will meet be my DPF and cat delete because I already have a down pipe. So that pipe and some other pipe or some other pipe however and it's flared down there so I can just cut this wherever it needs to be and these are all the clamps so I guess it shows two clamps oh there's three and three three of one size and three of another size whatever um, but anyway so yeah I got that I got some other stuff coming and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty much not going to be doing anything today except for relaxing and getting some food back in my body because I think I've lost I think I've lost about 8 or 10 pounds being out there on that train. So, but anyway guys, stay tuned for this video for the DB Motors or AI A1 Motors. Um, stay tuned for that install this install once I get the probe and my EGR delete. So the EGR delete has one of the block off plates for the probe. That's where I'm going to put it because I'm not going to drill a hole through the exhaust manifold. So, anyway. Sorry guys, it's a long video. Comment below, subscribe. If you have any comments, questions, ideas, different things, different things I should do to the mega cab. 
which is also known as the drunken ram. Um, I did fix the steering and it's been driving awesome. I love the truck. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, give me a like. Later.